Bolonaka, Aslam, Malikum, and a very good afternoon to you all. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope everyone had a wonderful celebration of our 50th uh, anniversary of independence. As you may know, we unveiled a commemorative $50 banknote and a 50 cent coin, the very first colored coin in Fijian history. We also announced that every student in years 1 to 13 would receive one of those coins. I understand the coins are here. Uh, some may be coming uh, later on. But it's my hope uh, those uh, commemorative coins find a special place in each of your lives. Sitting cherished on bookshelves and kept in pockets as lucky charms during rugby football or netball matches or match tests. Certainly needed here for soccer. Mm -hmm. soccer. Mm -hmm. When you receive your coins, uh, the kids, uh, I'm talking to the kids, you should treasure them and keep them safe. 50 years on from now, you can be proud to show your own children and grandchildren your special piece of our history. It is a real privilege to have been asked to spend this day with the school community as we officially open this new three-story classroom building. This is a, a development your school's management has made a reality through their own fundraising and I congratulate the Fiji Muslim League on this uh, latest demonstration of their commitment to Fiji's uh, education revolution. Fiji, was, uh, Fiji is one of the few countries in the world where a new school building can be safely open for its students. In uh, most other places right now, the global coronavirus pandemic has forced uh, children to learn from home. But uh, that is not in Fiji. As you know, we acted quickly and in line with the science to contain this deadly plague and keep our people safe. Now students at uh, Nandi Muslim Primary and all, and all across Fiji, of course, children can attend school without risking anyone's uh, well-being. Uh, later today, I'll be going across to the airport and of course visiting the quarantine hotels uh, and also uh, thanking our frontline healthcare heroes and disciplined forces personally for the great sacrifices they have made so that the rest of us can uh, have our health. But even though uh, we are safe from this virus, uh, you will continuously hear from us that this pandemic has hit our uh, economy very hard. But even as we endure this difficult period, seeing our students uh, able to study, attend classes, and be with their friends, assures us that uh, our future remains bright. I promise you that uh, hope shall never dim uh, because you can be certain that no matter how tough things get, my government's promise of free education will always be fulfilled. Fijian students uh, deserve that commitment from their government, but we also know that government alone can only do so much. We need partners. Uh, who share our vision of a knowledge-based Fijian society. A Fiji where all Fijians can realize their dreams through education. And I know we have such a partner in the Fiji Muslim League, an organization with a proud record of uh, uplifting Fijians from all faiths and backgrounds, particularly in the uh, arena of education and charitable work. I've always believed Fiji's uh, success as a nation will be determined by how tightly we embrace the values of unity and togetherness. I see the potential of a united Fiji in the eyes of every one of our students. Together, they are bettering themselves and their nation through education. None of them are defined by their background, their religion, of their ethnicity, but by their achievements and their ambition. And upon the foundation of free schooling, uh, equal opportunity and merit-based recognition, 
they are stepping forward as members of the most gifted, talented, and united generation of Fijians our nation has ever known. To celebrate uh, the great potential of the young people of this country, this Fiji Day, we ask the students of Fiji to answer a simple question. What makes Fiji special? We had over 700 responses from around the country, including from here, of course, at the Nandi Muslim uh, Primary School. And I thank all of the students who participated and the teachers who supported their contribution. One of the submissions came from a year six student, uh, Afra Nazim. Is Afra here? Afra Nazim? You Afra? Come here. Afra Nazim. Come Afra. In a message, Afra told us that one of the many reasons Fiji is special because we are free to follow our own religion. And she is right. Thanks to our Fijian constitution, we are a, we are a secular state. That means everybody is free to practice their own religion. No religion overshadows another and government does not advocate for any specific religion or denomination, but instead upholds the right of every Fijian to practice their faith without fear or discrimination or marginalization. So, for example, if government hosts a function or government ministry or department holds a meeting and a prayer is given, that prayer must be applicable for all faiths. Or each faith must be given the opportunity to offer a prayer of their own. Thank you, Afra. Afra also told us that regardless of our differences, Fijians support each other through good and bad times alike. And uh, in the words of our national anthem, we stand united under noble banner blue, the land of freedom, the land of hope and glory. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, Afra was spot on. When Fijians stand united, when we support one another, we are at our very best. Despite our differences, we all sing the same anthem. We all wave the same flag. And we all want the same great things for our country. Together, there is nothing we cannot achieve. Thank you to Afra and all of the school teachers and students and management for having me here to celebrate this wonderful development you have built for yourselves. Thank you, sir. And I have great pleasure in declaring this new classroom block open at the Nandi Muslim Primary School. We now have to thank you and God bless you.